Hello, my friends. I'm going to do a cloud pour today, but first I want to share something with you. You may recall this painting I did a while back. I call it Warm Vibes, and from it I had some clothing made on my online wearable art boutique. And if you're interested in looking, I will link it down below, but I wanted to share with you a couple of scarves I had made. So, and I'm really impressed with the, the color and the, the fabric. It just feels wonderful, and it's a nice long scarf. I think it's lovely. Now, they um, made a mistake on one of them. They just weren't able to capture the colors correctly, but um, I think it's still pretty. So they gave me a credit. They didn't even charge me the full price on this one. So anyway, I think this one looks very autumn-like. So that's that. And then this one I had made into several pieces, including scarves. And I think they got the color spot on on this one. Look at that. Really lovely. <laughs> anyway, great fun. As I said, I will link the um, site below if you'd like to take a closer look. I've got dresses and shawls and tote bags and all sorts of things. And right now, everything is 25% off until April 25th. So check it out if you'd like. <laughs> and now, today's pour. I'm going to do another um, 10 by 10. I have a big show coming up in May, and I have space for a lot of paintings, and I'm going to have a whole section of these small paintings because they, they're they affordable, but I think they make a nice statement. So I'm going to be working on 10 by 10s for a, uh, a while. And I'm going with pinks. Not my favorite colors, but I'm thinking that uh, I should add some um, to my clothing line in, in pinks because a lot of people do like it. So those are my colors today. I have um, Pale Pink by Grumbacher, and I'll say something about that in a minute. Pearl, this is Pearl Magenta. I used that up. This is Light Magenta. This is the... Um, Satin Enamel mix, and this was Quinacridone Violet by Liquitex, and this pink I just didn't care for. It just looked wrong to me. It almost looked peachy, so I added some of this, just a dollop of that, to the lighter pink to kind of marry them together, and I think that's a good tip for you. If, you, if you've mixed your colors and something looks a little wrong, just combine um, something and it will meld the colors, your color scheme together and make it work, I think. Now this one was too red on its own, so I added a dollop of Payne's Gray. Oops, is this even in the... Yeah, good. <laughs> added a dollop of Payne's Gray to the mix to deepen it, and now I think it's gonna be a nice contrast to these other colors. So. Without further ado, let's get to it. Slip my gloves on. I will put the recipe down below, but it was two parts Floetrol, one part paint, half part water, approximately. I did a little less than half a part, and I weigh my, my paints, and so pretty good accurate about the um, parts but so I did uh, 1.2 part Floetrol 1.2 ounce 0.6 ounce of paint so that's two to one and then 0.3 would have been a half but I started at 0.2 because I don't want to go too thin and some of those were okay some like the um, light magenta I had to add a lot more water to um, the white is thinner than I wanted it to be. I, and I think the last time I did a cloud pour, I didn't add any water to the white. 
I just did the Floetrol and the Satin Enamel. But I was I forgot, and as I'm going along, I added the water. And it's quite a bit thinner as I did my little test here. You can see it's quite a bit thinner. But rather than add more white to it, I'm going to see what kind of effects I get with it being thinner than others. And obviously this one, I added more water. So let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to start with the dark violet. Metallic. I don't think the fabric can pick up uh, metallics, but uh, certainly the color is very pretty anyway. I have so many. Uh, clothing pieces in blues and and other co warm colors, but really nothing at all in pink. And I thought, well, I should do something. So that's why I'm doing this pour today. Hope it will be pretty and I look very springy. Just to mix it up, I'm going to pour from the other side. Now I'm going to load it up that way. That is pretty, that dark. I'm going to add all of it. I love the contrast in a painting. Light lights and dark darks. And mid-tones, of course. Okay, that should be plenty of paint for this small canvas. I finished my flamenco dancer and I'm very happy with her, but I, I don't have her in the room to show you right now, but on the next video, I'll try to rem remember to show you. Okay, pretty much a straight pour. Forgot my turntable, so I'll have to turn my wrist instead. See, I don't love that light pink. Hmm. But I do like that dark. Look at that. And here comes some kind of cloud effect. Just about done. Okay. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see if the thinner white gives a different effect. Um, where is my, my this? Here it is.
It's pink, all right. Okay. And here we go. Don't mind running that off, so I'm going to start with that right off the bat. I'd like to keep the purple dark there. think I'm going to get a far more effect with the thinner white. Okay, what have I got? I've got a, it's too squared off there. I've got to change that up. Um, I may have to run that off because there's just not enough, I don't, I think, to uh, bring it back in. I think there's enough of the dark. I, I'm not concerned about losing that little bit there, so away it goes. But look at the cute little cloudy stuff going on there. Hmm. I wonder why it's looking gray. What would that be? Oh, I added Payne's gray to my dark. And maybe that mixing with the with the light pink. Uh, that darn light pink. <laughs> oh well. Um, it's not bad. I mean, overall, it's it's okay. It's just that you know, it's not my colors whatsoever. But uh, it's kind of fun. Um. I don't like this shape here. I'm going to run my skewer through it and oh, I didn't do much. I need almost a, a wider something or other. <laughs> I make it so awkward for myself. Do 
I dare? I think that's better. Uh, I got all these weird ones, but I think I better leave them. Okay. That will go together. And let's let that percolate for a minute here and see what we get. Yeah. Considering it's pink, I think it's kind of pretty. <laughs> Okay, my friends, I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes and then I'll come back and tack something on the end. Thanks for joining me. Bye now. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. I don't think there's a huge difference, but I can see the cells have expanded, the cloudy cells. Um, let me just zoom in a little bit to show you rather than bring you down there. Actually, I like this light pink section the best. And I don't even mind the, the center there. So, there you have it. I've gone pink. And uh, I hope you liked that. Thank you for watching, my friends, and I'll see you next time.